Is this right? Could this be true? Are you serious? What? Are you serious? I mean, we're talking now. Uh, I want to thank Joshua, who was one of the callers called in my radio show yesterday. Uh, the government is researching how to use technology to change your religious beliefs. What? Uh, should the United States government be trying to figure out how to use technology to change the beliefs of religious extremists? Who's a religious extremist? Uh, before you answer yes to that question, perhaps you should consider whether or not the U.S. government considers you to be a religious extremist. Okay, now you're talking. I'd like to know. Surely I'm not. I mean, they, surely they don't think I am, right? Just because the Huffington Post wrote an article back in December the 13th of 2011, in, the, in which in the title of that article was uh, Jesus, Johnny Depp, and the Christian Terrorist. And then when I started reading the article, <laughs> I was the Christian terrorist, Paul Begley, a preacher of Indiana. So if the Huffington Post thinks I'm a Christian terrorist, does the government at least think I'm a religious extremist? And maybe he thinks you are too. Are you saved? Well, hang on a minute. Let's see. Um, are you a religious extremist? Well, after all, uh, as it's been documented previously, conservatives, libertarians, Tea Party activists, and evangelical Christians are all considered religious extremists in various U.S. government documents. You're already on the list. You're already on the list. Get the FEMA keys now. Get a key to the local FEMA camp. You're already on the list if you're a Christian. So if so, if we open up Pandora's box and say that it is okay for the government to use technology to wipe away the religious beliefs of some extremists, what would stop them from using the same technology on you? Matter of fact, I, there's a report out. Let me Let me just play this for you. This is a report uh, by Michael T. Snyder. Is the U.S. government working on a program to, well, program the way you view religion? A whistleblower who has worked on that program says yes, and he wants you to know exactly what has been going on. The first step towards truth is to be informed. What? What? They're already working on a program. The government, and this was a whistleblower from the United States government, which would now better get out of the country and go join Ed Snowden somewhere in the Siberian mountains of Russia. Because once you become a whistleblower, you know, you don't have... Are you serious? Did I just sneeze on, on a video? That's terrible. Maybe they're already messing with my mind. Do, 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 do. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, in all reality, this is a serious thing because let me tell you why. When you're dealing with a microchip technology and radioactivity and waves, radio waves, and mind-altering drugs and mind-altering um, supersonic uh, brain wave um, technologies that they're developing, you start wondering. You know, I even I remember hearing about these folks down in the Philippines that were actually being implanted with microchips forcibly against their will, and then they were t the United States government was doing it in the Philippines on people in the jungles of the Philippines, and then was testing if they could alter their behaviors by sending commands to the microchips that was in their body. Now, this, these are there's actually eyewitnesses to this that have surfaced and uh, I've heard from these folks uh, on Facebook and we've also uh, there's also been some reports of it in the media but you know I, I, I kind of listen I, I see these things and I say it just can't be I mean really uh, is it possible well uh, we would probably know very little about the development of this technology if it weren't for whistleblowers that have recently come forward and, uh, and I begin to share some of the things they're doing. Uh, it's quite amazing. I tell you what, there is, I'm going to put a, a link below on this uh, in the description. Uh, and you probably want to go and check this out for yourself. 
read the article. There's even a, a video out there that uh, this guy, Michael T. Snyder. Uh, I don't know much about the guy. I really don't. I don't know really anything about the guy other than this report I'm looking at. But it isn't something outside the realm of possibility. I mean, we're dealing with a mark of a beast technology that's coming. That the Bible says that whoever takes this mark, it, it, you know, will be received damnation to their soul. It also says, uh, which means it can't get forgiveness. And I often wonder about that. God is so forgiving. Is it because the mark, the technology portion of the mark of the beast system, is that you you sell your soul and you receive a mark that inhibits your ability to seek forgiveness? Is that does it is it stand in the way? I can tell you that right now that certain drugs, mind altering drugs, will prohibit you from ever crying out to God. Prohibit you from ever repenting of your sins. And they'll make you think you can fly and you'll jump off a building or something. So you have to understand the, um, that these types of mind-altering and soul-altering uh, uh, mechanisms, whether they be drugs, alcohol, or some type of microchip technology, could really disturb a person's ability uh, to think properly. Uh, put it this way. They're the hinges on hell's gates that opens the door to every demonic spirit there is. So having said that, check out the link below, I don't know, but here's the thing you should, you really need to know. Why play around in the world? Come to Jesus Christ because the world is getting wicked. The technology is increasing. And the Bible said that they are, men will run to and fro and knowledge will increase. Okay? And it also tells you that uh, men will, uh, professing themselves to be wise, they will become fools. And they will not know what they need to know. They won't know what they ought to know. And that is they don't know the grace of God and the salvation through Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Am I having this discussion even? What kind of a world am I living in now? We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.